I'm pretty sure that you may have heard them, especially if you're already working on site. And the main idea was to try to understand the main differences between each of them and some practical cases or mistakes that I've seen out in the industry. But thankfully, now you understand what's inside battery limits, outside battery limits, and more importantly, why we must define the boundaries since the conception of the design, why the process engineer needs to go with the OSBL team and understand the utilities, the connections, and any issues that may arise in the future, and more importantly, understanding that the inside battery limit team needs to be always coordinating with the outside battery limit. Because as stated, this may be an invisible line, but oh dear, it's quite important to ensure that the line is properly set. Now guys, if you have had any kind of experience on the ESBL side or the OSBL side, please let us know in the comment section what was the main issue and how you solve it. I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of people out there that have had their experiences with the battery limits.